What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going to my local fish store and buying the largest fish they have there. But before we do that, I want to take you all inside the fish room that we currently have. And I want to show you all what happened guys. We had some tragedy struck while I was out of town. Last week I was in Colorado on my bachelor trip. Yes, I'm getting married in July. I couldn't be more excited. But we had a lot of stuff go down that week while I was gone. I had a dislocated hip. I got COVID. We got stuck in a four foot snow blizzard. The power went out in the house. Look right there. Look at all these. These are all my shingles from my house guys. And luckily, in the back of my truck right here, we were able to go to the real fish warehouse and we grabbed this generator back here and it kept almost all my fish alive, but we did have some tragedy that did happen, unfortunately, guys. So come on here with me. All right, so as you all know, this is our temporary fish warehouse while the other one's getting complete. We still have a lot of work to do in there. And we have these four tanks and we also have this little pond back over here. So while I was gone, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but I think we had some kind of disease or fungal outbreak. So we did lose some fish, unfortunately, but right now, as you can see, the water is blue in these tanks. We are currently treating them. So everything in this tank is fine. The puffer's doing amazing. All the sharks are doing wonderful. Come over here. We got the shore buddy catfish doing well, the barramundi, awesome. But guys, as we start to move down, this is where all this stuff happened that went really bad. And I was gone, so I wasn't able to treat this directly. I didn't properly quarantine these fish and that was completely my fault. I was going out of town, like I said. I was in a rush and yeah, as you can see, look at this gulper right here. He has some kind of infection, guys. If you all know what that is, please let me know. This is not normal. And no, none of my tanks naturally carry this. This must have been some parasite from wherever this fish is wildly caught from. I don't know, but this is where it gets even worse. So in this tub right here, guys, we had our silver arowana army that we were so in love with. These were my babies. One by one, we lost them. I don't know if they had some kind of crazy infection that was with the gulper. I don't know, guys. I was not home. My mom did her best to try to take care of them, but they just died. I mean, literally within five days, they were all dead. What happened to the arowana army was deathly heartbreaking. I wish that I was here to try to save them. Sometimes fish come in, they're sick, they have diseases, and if you don't catch it early enough, they'll all die, and that was my fault completely, so I'll take that full account and then over in this tank guys as well was the final straw i don't know what happened i think the disease has spread in a lot of these tanks from cross contamination and we lost our red tail perun hybrid i've been tore up over this all week guys so if you all have any advice to you all fellow fish keepers i've never really struggled with disease before honestly oftentimes you know i just quarantine the fish for a few weeks and we're normally okay but whatever it is i'm going through it right now and it's infecting all my tanks so hopefully we don't lose any more fish as you all can see the water is blue in all these tanks as well so we're treating them and hopefully they make it but enough of that guys we're gonna go ahead and head to the fish store right now and try to buy the biggest fish they have in hopes of bringing it home for the 8,000 gallon monster pond all right guys so we just made it to the store and we've actually been here before about a month ago and they had a ton of awesome fish and this store is actually one of a kind too it's like an old blockbuster and then in the back of it is the fish store you can watch that video up here after this video but right now we're going to head inside i'm going to give you all kind of a tour of what they have and then we're going to check out what monster fish they have we're going to take one home today like i was saying look to the left of me right here we have the movie store and then right here to the right we have the fish store which is awesome they have salt water over here fresh water over here we're going to walk around and see all the awesome fish they have guys come check this out look at this look at these peacock bass these things are so sick right here i don't know what type of peacocks they are Maybe some monos, but they're really cool. They got an, also a red devil cichlid in here, some other barbs and some paku. Um, and then up above here, look at this. These actually are the catfish I got last week from eBay. But like I said, these things can eat a goldfish the same size as them. And then they have a bunch of other stuff here. We're gonna keep walking around and trying to show you all some cool stuff. This has to be one of the coolest fish tanks I've ever seen. Look at this. It literally is like a rimless tank and water just flows over it. And I guess there's a sump underneath here. There's no fish in this tank actually, but it would be like a perfect coral tank. I bet you this tank costs upwards at least of three to $5,000. This thing is insane. But behind me here is the last thing I wanna show you all before we get this fish. I swear we could do something like this in the Monster Fish King warehouse. Guys, let me know down in the comments below right now, should we get an insane saltwater tank for the warehouse? Look how fire this is. I've always loved saltwater fish. I just don't know a ton about it and I don't have a perfect tank for it yet, but I would be willing to buy one if it's something that you all really wanna see for all those saltwater lovers out there. Now let's go get this monster fish. Here we are, look at this. This is their 400 gallon aquarium full with Oscars. They got Paku in here. This is that giant clown knife that we came here last time to check out. They got the iridescent shark. Look at that, even they have this wolf fish. That was not here last time. That's pretty sick as well. So all the fish in this tank are actually rescues that people bring here, they drop them off in the local area. All these fish get huge, as you all know, especially like these Pocky right here. This thing is not even full grown and it's gonna get two or three feet long. So with that being said, guys, we have the 8,000 gallon pond that we just built. 
and I wanted to come here today and buy one of these monster fish to hopefully give it a better home. Now, I'm having a tough decision. Do I buy this clown knife? Look at that beast. Do I buy one of these Paku? I don't know, guys. I'm not to think about it for just a minute. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the money at the Fish King LLC right now is super tight, especially after building this tank, losing all those fish last week. But I still wanna go out and I'm gonna splurge for you guys to make an awesome video, so I hope you all enjoy it. We're gonna be buying this bad boy today. We're gonna be picking up this massive clown knife right now. So we're gonna get the worker, we're just gonna go bag this up. We're gonna take it home, bring it to my house, quarantine it, and get it ready for the 8,000 gallon monster pond. All right, this is gonna get interesting, guys. This fish has been here for two and a half years. We just took all the stuff off the top of this tank. And we have the bucket here ready. This is gonna be insane. I hopefully we can come back and get this Paku next time, but right now we just don't have the space for it because yeah, this is the only box we have. Just watch this show, this is gonna be interesting. I don't know if this net's gonna be big enough. Whoa! Smooth. Check this out guys. Look at this beast. Look how thick that monster is. This is a massive clown knife. We need to get him home immediately and get him in his 110 gallon stock tank. That way we can quarantine him. I feel like this box might break. Y'all, this thing is sick. We need a name for it right now. This is going to be a monster in the 8,000 gallon pond. I'm freaking pumped right now. All right guys, we got that John in the back right now. He's just chilling out in his box. He's doing great. I am Liddy. This fish is sick. I can't wait to get home. I'm gonna get him acclimated and then I'm gonna give you a lot better look at him because he is bad <laughs> All right guys, we just made it home and check out this massive clown knife. Look at the spots on that, that's beautiful. Not only can this fish swim backwards, but it is actually invasive to South Florida right now and people were actually releasing them over the years and now they have quite a wide population there. So you, if you go to Miami and the canal's there, you can drop your line in and hopefully catch one of these monsters. Now we're gonna go ahead and take him downstairs in the temporary fish room and get him acclimated to his quarantine tub. That way we can get him ready for the future 8,000 gallon pond. All right guys, so it's been about an hour and he's ready to go in this tub right here we have prepared for him. Be nice and gentle with this guy. They're super slippery. Just drop them in there nice and easy. I know this, might, this home might look small, but this is just his temporary quarantine tank. The reason why we quarantine these fish is because sometimes they can have parasites and diseases from the other fish. So as you can see, his water is kind of a little bit of blue. And that's that polygarder there that's gonna hopefully take away any bacteria, any fish lice, anything that could be on that fish. And then in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna add them to the 8,000 gallon pond, guys. That's gonna be insane. Make sure to stay tuned for that. If you like this video, please drop a like on it, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. right now my friend's in town and he's here with us so i'm gonna let him have a scene we're just gonna like, put the camera on him and we're gonna see what he says all right all right come with me z dude we got a, we got a saltwater expert in town guys we're lucky to have you here man so we're in the saltwater section i don't know that much about saltwater i haven't kept that many saltwater tanks in my life but zeke here did you were raised up with saltwater fish like tell us a little bit i've about been doing thing. saltwater tanks um since i was since i was four i think i got my first saltwater tank when i was four and a half so how big was it uh, it was about 13 and a half gallons. Right, so know. it's like a nano nano tank, but still, yeah, since then you've grown a lot. It was actually yeah. really big. It was a big 13 gallons. But uh, just want to say thanks thanks to the Fish King for having me on. I've been wanting to be on this channel for a long time. Wanted to talk about this special fish over here, man. Um, I've had I've had about 25 of these in my lifetime. That yellow guy right there. This is actually a lemon slice snapper. Now the lemon slice snapper, it actually is able to survive in a variety of environments. So I have about 30 of these guys in my pool out back and I just put regular chlorine in it. And these guys are these guys are really group oriented. I can't believe they don't have any more in there. They love having friends. They're just really, really communal fish. And I just really admire the fact that they're sour when you eat them as well. Oh, so, so you eat your fish. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, we're just lucky to have this expert with us, guys. I mean, obviously, this information is probably not even out there on Google. But, uh, dude, sounds like your it's tank valid is information. Well. I've been I've been raising these fish, these saltwater fish. I've had about five of those as well. Whatever they're called, I forget the name. So, do you think this is gonna fit on the grill, or 